Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Killing Time with yours truly, Vash. As you know, I have a special guest with me today. It's my little dragon, Lelouch. My little guy here. Love him dearly. He's just, you know, adorable and cute and, you know, can't picture life without him. Today's uh, little ramble is going to be about vampires. And uh, I was going to make it straightforward about fat vampires, but it's going to be a little too easy to pull that off. So I want to go a little bit more deeper, go into the, uh, I guess, the de evolution of vampires. Much like humans have been de evolving over time, so have vampires. So the reason why uh, Lucius here is he's going to provide us a little example of what I mean by de evolution. He's such a cute guy. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. You know, one day he's going to be big and strong and spit fire. And I'm going to be on his back as we raid village to village and claim the seven kingdoms all to ourselves. And then as legend passes on, our story of great victory and death and destruction will probably get turned into a children's song. Even worse than probably Puff the Magic Dragon and his crooked ass, which are the ways. But... And that's kind of what I'm getting at. Uh, vampires have devolved over time, much like, much like we have. Vampires, uh, for the most part, wish to be scary and, and uh, ferocious. Uh, if we use uh, movie terms or movie uh, examples, we go back to the old days in Nosferatu, where it was just, just so sharp ears, kind of just gnarly you know, teeth, and go chomp chomp with the bit 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 bit. And uh, we're designed to pretty much scare the shit out of you. And as they evolved, um, they got little, little less and less demonic and fearful and scary, and they seem to take on this uh, more uh, human-like form, more human uh, attributes. And it got to a point through mostly books and uh, the very takes. They got more regal, more prestige, more you know, sophisticated, you know, upper class men who still like to feed on human beings and pretty much fuck with our lives. That's always been their MMO, no matter which. Uh, take a vampire as you get, unless you evolve some of the more recent versions, we'll get to them in a hot minute, that uh, seem to go away from that a little bit more and uh, go more into the more de-evolved sense of what I'm going at, and we'll feed you soon, relax, Jesus Christ, I can feel him back be pinching at me, but the de-evolution vampires, I mean, they took this big regal thing, this big beautiful thing about them, and I think the main thing was that their beauty and their 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 aspirations, not aspirations, but their the thing that draws you the most is that they're forever, forever, provided you, you dodge sunlight and stick to the heart and other weird things. But for the most part, you live forever. So, if you can live forever, and more importantly, you can choose who lives forever with you, I mean, wouldn't go to say that you want the most attractive people around you to be, you know, around you all the time. Do you really want to look at some hairy thing with a mole here and you know just this disgusting thing you never would have looked at all eternity or do you want something that you know you wake up have your coffin ground whatever and go oh man this chick still looks beautiful or this dude still looks hot depending on your preference that's something you what do you want and then as you look how that goes you can see how vampires have always been uh ridden or shot in uh very good looking people, very prestige, regal kind of thing, because you want to believe that if you live forever, you're going to look hot. You're going to be around hot people. You you don't want to be around that fat, ugly thing. You know, with the few times we've seen fat vampires uh, was Blade. Remember that big, fat, blobby thing? You remember that thing? Not really sexy, or you, you, you don't really want to be that fat thing for all eternity. Uh, True Blood did a very interesting take on a fat vampire, just a regular dude. Regular dude. You know, going through some tough times. If you haven't watched the depth, how that came about, please watch True Blood. It's an awesome show. I want, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't, but regular dude, kind of plumpy guy, became a vampire. But you don't see many of them in literature and uh, movies and things like that because they're not pretty. They're not prestige. They're not pristine. They don't, you know, adhere to the things you hear where you want to be living forever. You want to be awesome. You want to be diamond like, just flawless. And how you look, like Lelouch here. You know, he's, you know, a little baby now, but he's going to grow to be big and bad and, and scary as a dragon. That's evolution for him. And when he evolves, he'll probably become Barney's assistant. That's how vampires are de evolving. They've gone from this regal, pristine, beautiful, diamond like thing, and we get Twilight. There's enough bad jokes and stories about Twilight, I won't rip into that. It's, that's just too easy. Same thing with Vampire Diaries. Um. It seems to go on vampires. It seems to go on the way of more douchebaggery in their ways, and I'm not sure 
how long this is going to last, but if we take pop culture as a trend, then unfortunately it's probably going to be around for a little bit longer, but hopefully we'll get the, I want to say more traditional vampires, or something a little more respectable in their horror background. I'm sorry. It's, the one thing about Twilight, I, I, I could never understand if you can live forever. You're so smart. Why the fuck are you still in high school? Oh, but he fell in love with a teenage girl. Yes. So romantic. Can you imagine uh, somebody in his twilight years, 90, 100 years old, even more, falling in love with a 17-year-old? Wow. True romance. Didn't see that one coming. And then Vampire Diaries just has this big douchebaggery about it. You know, just, again, these pristine, beautiful people, but they hang around high schools all the time. And I'm sorry. If I'm going to live forever, I'm going to want people around my old age. If I'm 500 years old, what the fuck am I going to do with this girl other than feed on her and maybe just rape the shit out of her? I'm not going to fall in love with her. I may like her. I may date her. I'm not making her run forever. I mean, think of it this way. Oh, baby, that was great last night. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? You can't do that when you're 1,200 years old. You can do that when you're 18, 19, 24. When you've been around a couple of centuries, do you really want to pull that fucking shtick? And people buy into it. And that's a deep evolution of vampires. But that's also why we don't see bad, fat vampires. They're not pristine. They're not beautiful. You know, they're not going to fit into that mold of, come on. Can you really picture a really fat vampire hitting on a, a 16 year old and getting away with it? You have to glamour the shit out of her. And it gotta be a strong glamour, because face it, if you've got a mole balding and you know, you got more rolls in a bakery, no one's gonna want to pay attention to you. That's not a vampire nowadays. They're douchebags. The de evolution of vampires as it still goes on. Sorry, folks. That's my little ramble for uh for that mess. But yeah. Bad vampires. I want to see more of them. That'd be kind of badass. Just some big, gnarly, fat fuck sweating profusely Crisco oil just barreling down some chick down a, a hallway. Doesn't even tackle her. Just roll over and just <laughs> got me, bitch. <laughs> you know, and maybe afterwards get a little sleepy, like a snack. I'm going to feed you. Relax. But <sighs> that'd be cool to see more fat vampires. I think it'd be pretty cool and pretty badass. And not these douchebags that are uh, taking up the airways. Thank God for True Blood for uh, being one show that, you know, shows vampires in that whole hardcore way. The ones I grew up with, the horror style. Don't see many fat ones, though. Hopefully they'll change that. But it's HBO. We gotta sell sex. And unfortunately, fat does not sell. It may get you a date. Won't get you a mate. That's Killing Time, folks. 5.0. Thanks once again for killing time with me, yours truly. So please share, subscribe, that little button on your YouTube page. Subscribe, share, share the love on uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got. You know, the more uh, I keep doing this, I hope you guys keep sharing that love with me. I'll keep doing it a little bit longer. So until next week, folks, uh, be safe, have fun. Uh, next week's vlog will probably be delayed. Got a lot of things going on, so uh, stay tuned for that. I will post about that. So until then... Bye, folks. Say what? Say bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. And he just pooped on my hand. Fantastic.